friends welcome back naji here so we are continuing a discussion on n10 and in this video we will be discussing on how can we integrate telegram with n10 okay so let's start uh, so here i have uh, opened a new workflow okay so um, as usual so what we need we need to have a trigger to start the workflows for that uh, n10 is providing uh, triggers different triggers but uh, for specifically for telegram we can search for a telegram they are providing a, a different kind of a triggers which says about on callback query on channel post on edited post okay, there are different kinds of triggers are available so in this video we are looking into on message trigger okay so let's cl click on uh, the on uh, message trigger so what this is this says is whenever a message is come to my uh, what we called uh, in the telegram it will get triggered okay so few things that we need to remo uh, look into here so one is the webhook url so here we can see it's a local host 5678 is the uh, domain name name of this um, webhook url okay. and there are credentials are available and the message one is the message okay so here uh, first what we need to do we need to create the credential for that let me click on uh, this menu here I can I can we can click the create new credential so let's click on it okay so as usual we can see there is a documentation is available so let's click on the documentation okay so here um, what they are saying that as a prerequisite is we need to have a telegram account is needed okay I, I believe everybody should have that then to get the access token what we need to do we need to first start a chat with the bot father okay so we can see where I can uh, see the bot father okay so uh, this is my telegram here you can see a bot father okay so to get the bot father just search for bot father not fa faster it's a bot father okay just click on this bot father then you will get a chat window something like this okay so let's go with uh, one by one so once you have the bot father what we need to do we need to click on the star uh, hyphen new bot so just type iPhone new bot okay now just follow the instruction okay a new uh, all right a new bot how are uh, how uh, how are we going to call please choose a name for your bot so I can um, give a bot like YouTube I can say Naji underscore YouTube uh, bot okay so this is my bot name okay let's see now we need to give a username for my bot i am going to give the same name i'm not sure that will accept the same but let's see naji youtube i can say to avoid something username bot so this is my username okay so this is actually creating a um, chat window for me okay uh, he says congratulations on your new bot you will find it at me dot so this is my new bot okay so i can start chat here i can do hi so anything i can do so this is my new bot okay but we need to get some um, token right so here we can see use this token to access the http app okay so so this is the token that we need to use in the n8 so let me copy this here i can do a copy code let's go back to our n8 and let's paste it here okay so we have our uh, api token is ready now save it so it's testing so connection tested successfully okay good now just try to execute this we'll see what will happen okay so the execution is complete completed but we are getting an error okay see this error telegram uh, trigger bad request uh, bad request bad webhook and https url must be provided for the webhook okay so why this is coming here because see i told you to look on this webhook url right so if you open this webhook url we can see that this is running in a local host right so what telegram requires is telegram requires a secure connection and a public url is also required right so that is why we are getting this kind of an error since i am running in my local machine and i don't have any kind of a public ip to map or a ssl certificate to map 
so what i am going to do i am going to use um, okay i can use uh, ng rock okay so i can uh, make use of ng rock so ng rock is a, a software which will help 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 it to map my uh, private ip to the public ip okay so for that i already have an account so let me log in that Okay, so this is free. So you guys can uh, create a account here in the NG Rock. So once that is login, uh, if you are Mac, if your machine is Mac, so since my, my machine is Mac, it is showing the uh, Mac commands. You guys can do brew install NG Rock. This can be done, and this is the authentication key. So let me copy and paste uh, this authentication key to my uh, console. So let me open this. Let me have a new window. So I'm going to run this. Okay. Uh, so NGROG authentication saved successfully. All right. Now let's go back here. Now what we need to do? We need to map our port. Okay. So here they are mapping to 80 port. Okay. So let me copy this and paste it here. Okay. So in our case, it is not port 80. Right. So we need to see like in which port uh, our um, N18 is running. So here we can see my N18 is running in the 5678 port. 5678 is my port number. So let's change this. this. Here we can see 5678. Okay, let's execute it. Okay, so here we can see it is successfully connected to our uh, NGROC is forwarding uh, this IP. So whenever um, this somebody is calling this URL, it is successfully mapping to our local host. Okay, so let me copy and paste it here, and I can show you this one. So, when I copy and paste it here, it's showing the email address, I mean, username and password. So, let me give my username and password here. Okay, now it is successfully. Uh, logged in so we can see we can see uh, the same work my workflows can be seen here right now let's open the workflow that is just created let's open it check for our uh, webhook url here also still we can see it is http right it is http localhost okay so to change this into https what we can do so let me close these two things okay what we can do let me go back to the console i just copied this okay now go back to my uh, console so this is the console where the n18 is running so let me stop this okay so here i can update the environment variable of n18 for that i can give here i can mention webhook underscore url equal to let's pass this uh, url then I can give N8N. N8N. Now let's execute it. So here we can see a URL can be seen here. So I'm going to copy this. Paste it here. Okay. Let's see how this works. So we are getting the same uh, workflow screen now let me open my uh, telegram workflow so here we can see let's open this one click on this webhook url now we can see it is changed to https right so now this is working fine now let's try execute i'm waiting okay it is listening i'm go i'm going back to my uh, my chat window here I am going to say hi okay so now we are able to get my R here okay so we can see it is at in the text I just mentioned H right so I am getting the H here okay so it seems to be working fine so we are able to establish a connection between our board and our end item okay now let's go back here so this connection is successful now what i'm going to do i'm going to connect it with the aa agent okay so this is a symbol i have discussed this in, a, in our multiple videos right so just uh, come here define a uh, prompt here i can say you are an 
agent you need to answer to users queries query and here i can i can see a lot of information with respect to my message so what i am going to do uh, i need to give my message to so this is my text message so let me pass my text message to the prompt okay so this is done now let's select a chat model so the easiest chat model is the open ai chat model i'm going to select this uh, gpt 4.1 mini is fine so let's select this one okay now i need to send the response back to the telegram right for that i can again come here just select telegram i can open the telegram i can select here send a text message just do that here i need to specifically say about the chat id and here i can see the chat id okay now i need to say the text so the text will be let me minimize this message from here the chat is you can see details but i cannot see the response back okay so this will be connected from here okay so let, i have adjusted the connection let's execute this let's say hi for the time being i am disconnecting this connection now i am executing this i can say hi okay now i am going to connect this let's see what is the result okay so what we need to send back so we need to send back the output from the aa agent so let's mark this text here okay so we can have the message id let me take again the message uh, the chat id i am going to paste this chat id here so this is a chat id and this is the response message so let me execute this okay i think the workflow is working fine now i can test this for that let me make this active okay i have made this active now i can go and check here let me see hi see now i am getting the response hello how can i assist you today okay so i can say uh, who is the president uh, of USA just sending this let me see like it says uh, Joe Biden because it has knowledge uh, till June 2024 okay this is fine okay at least we are getting the result back now here I am saying okay my name is Naji okay let's wait hello Naji so it's it's not i am uh, it says hello naji now i can say okay what is my name okay i don't have access to your personal information because one thing is missing in this chat board right so what is the missing part so missing part is the memory so let's add the memory also so here i can click on this memory i can add the symbol memory uh, then here what i can do i can uh, I can have the define the below and I can pass the message ID okay so maybe I can add message ID here now let's go back I will like execute okay let me make it inactive and let's execute here okay now the execution is progress here I can say hi my name is Naji let's execute the execution progresses hello Naji how can I assist you today okay again let's execute I can say what is my name 
we'll see you will able to remember okay it's able to remember fine it says your name is naji how can you assist you help you further today okay so cool so we are able to successfully establish connectivity in the telegram and the nikn uh, application okay so here we have a, a telegram trigger is there okay and we have a, a agent is there then we have another telegram event to send back to the result okay. so here one more thing maybe we can change okay so if you go back here let's do append n810 attribution so if you come here just turn off this one okay so now maybe i can make it active okay so now this is uh, active now okay so it is running so let's go back go to the execution i'm taking the uh, my chatbot here i can say hi see it is automatically running we can see that i'm getting hello how can i assist you today so this this message is removed this i mean here uh, in our previous message we can say there some additional message right this is a message sent automatically with n8 so that is removed in this case okay i am naji uh, i am looking for uh, what i am looking for q4 uh, basic python programming tutorials just i don't know what's going to give me okay let's see okay so that it's actually executing it's giving me like a lot of details uh, based on their knowledge base okay so i believe uh, this is a, a really cool so we are easily able to integrate with uh, telegram without much effort right so only thing is that since we are running in a local machine okay so we have to ensure that it is running in http the web book url will be https okay so here i have updated this environment to make it https and also i have used the ng rock okay so that is all about in this video so if you have any questions please put in the comment box i will try to answer that okay so that's it thank you very much please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye